Spiders, small and amazing, are one of the most beautiful creations of the Supreme Lord. He is great and holy, created with great precision and with great meaning. But many of you will probably ask why and why did Allah create spiders? Spiders are of great importance and are extremely important for people and not only they are so important for humanity that if absolutely all spiders disappeared then for humanity it would turn into catastrophic consequences. What you will learn in this video will forever change your attitude to spiders and your understanding of them. First of all, dear viewers, using our minds, we can easily find the wisdom behind the creation of spiders. And we must also understand that everything that the Lord creates is not in vain and meaningless but contains a certain wisdom. But before we tell you how important spiders are to us, to all of us, listen to the words of the Most High Allah, Holy and Great, who says in the Quran, Those who take other helpers for the El besides Allah God Lord are like a spider that has made a home for itself. Truly the most fragile dwelling is the spider's dwelling. If only they knew indeed Allah knows all those whom they worship besides him, and he is the mighty the wise. In the words those who have taken other helpers besides Allah God Lord, we are talking about polytheists. They do not put their trust in the Lord, but put their trust in their idols, which cannot help them or harm them in any way and these idols cannot even protect them themselves. There is a lot of wisdom behind creating spiders, namely, first of all, brothers and sisters. We must understand that God holy and great created animals and insects for the benefit of man and animals. And insects are part of this vast universe. As Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, it is he who created for you all that is on the earth and then turned to heaven and made it seven heavens. He knows all things. Secondly, spiders are one of God's most useful creations for humans. They weave a strong web for catching insects to feed on and breed offspring. Thus, spiders help to control the number of insects on earth. The wisdom of the Almighty is also shown in the amazing structure of spiders in their various shapes and colors. Tiny arthropod creatures of the Lord live all around us, reminding us of the Creator's power. But let's take a scientific look at spiders. First of all, spiders appeared on our Earth more than 400 million years ago, while dinosaurs appeared on Earth about 24-3 million years ago. That is, spiders exist on Earth more than dinosaurs. The second is that spiders are arachnids, not insects, as some people believe. Truly spiders are not an insect. A spider belongs to the class arachnids. There are a number of differences between insects and arachnids. Insects have three parts of the body, the head thoracic and abdominal cavity. Arachnids have two of them, the cracks and the abdomen. Insects have three pairs of legs while arachnids have four. Insects have one pair of antennas while arachnids do not although their legs may resemble antennas or legs. Insects usually have wings but there are also wingless forms. Arachnids do not have wings. Let's now talk about some interesting facts about spiders. The first thing is that there are more than 50,000 species of spiders on Earth. Secondly, it is the number of eyes. The visual organs of arachnids are simple eyes, the number of which varies from 2 to 12 in different species in spiders. They are located on the coelothoracic shield. The third surprising fact is that on average there are 131 spiders per square meter of land in the world. This is an average statistic, and it may differ from country to country and from place to place as well as many other scientific facts. But let's imagine and ask the question, what if all spiders disappear forever? What if the spiders suddenly disappeared forever? And so first of all these are possible huge human deaths which could even reach millions of people. This would happen for several reasons. The first is a sharp increase in the population of insect pests, the population of which was controlled by spiders, and the most dangerous of which for humans are mosquitoes. This would lead to massive destruction of crops, 
food security and famine in many countries of the world, as well as mass loss of life in some regions of our planet. Scientists have found that spiders consume between 400 and 800 million metric tons live weight with insects, and calm as accounting for more than 90% of captured prey. An article with these data was published in the scientific journal The Science of Nature. These are truly colossal figures. But this is not all at the same time the total biomass of 8 billion people is approximately 48 million tons. If we assume that one person weighs 51 kilograms we recall that both adults and children are included here that is spiders can eat twice as many different pests as the total weight of all people on the planet again these calculations are approximate yes all spiders are poisonous however most of them except for a few species do not pose a danger to humans due to their weak venom and inability to bite through human skin However, first of all mosquitoes kill more people than all animals combined to be more precise not the mosquitoes themselves, but the diseases they carry. For comparison, according to various sources spiders kill about 800 people a year and mosquitoes kill a staggering 600,000 people a year again statistics can vary greatly from year to year and from different sources. Just imagine how many people would die if the spiders disappeared. However, the Lord protects humanity and secondly, this coin has an obverse and reverse. The fact is that spider venom can make medicines. The second thing that would happen if spiders disappeared is a negative impact on the yield of certain agricultural crops. Since there will be fewer natural regulators of the number of insect pests, the third thing is that there may be a weakening of the food chains that the spiders were part of partial loss of biodiversity. However, other organisms are likely to fill the empty ecological niches, and so on. Remember, dear viewers, when you take away a spider on the street or at home, if it is not a poisonous spider, then do not kill it, but let it live if you find it on the street, and if you find it at home, then let it go outside, for example, by catching it with a dry cloth and releasing it on the street. Remember that the spider reduces the number of mosquitoes, midges, and flies because it feeds on them. Having learned all this we can only marvel at the wisdom of creating spiders, as well as the power and might of the Supreme Lord. He is great and holy. We ask God for help and protection. Amen.